Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to a brand new episode here today of my F1 2019 modded career mode. Back again for round number four for the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. If you guys missed the last episode at Shanghai, then go watch the Chinese Grand Prix guys linked in the top right hand corner of your screen. But today we are here in the land of fire in Baku. You can see on the screen, no rain expected this weekend and it's going to be a bit more of an overcast race, but generally speaking, a dry weekend. And then in terms of the upgrades for this weekend and the research and development, we are still in third place, but Red Bull and Renault close the gap as do also Alfa Romeo and the Toros as well. So multiple upgrades on multiple cars this weekend as a Ferrari McLaren remain at the top of the timesheets. And uh, yeah, we're going to see how things progress. Of course, we currently have 1,700 points, so we can buy some upgrades hopefully at the end of this video and invest those into the next race at Spain. But with that being said, we're now going to move into qualifying here at Baku. And this is going to be a tough track for me. You know, practice looked good in terms of my pace. I'm happy with the car. I like the setup. I feel confident around here. But unfortunately, the AIs, you guys know, are pretty quick around here. So it's going to be a challenge. We'll try and do the best we can. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm not going to hold my breath too much. To be honest with you, if I get a top 10, I'll be really happy with that because the pace does seem pretty close between us, McLaren, Ferrari seem to have the edge, but Red Bull in there as well. There's multiple cars, even the Haas are mixing it in there as well. So there is our teammate Sergio Perez, and a moment ago we saw Lewis Hamilton, of course, in the Ferrari. He's going to be a big favourite this weekend, but we jump into the, our first run, and it was a very messy first run. You just saw a moment ago, I got really out of shape through turn two, and then we get even more out of shape through the castle section, really struggling to get the rear planted in this first run. And uh, then we cut on towards the end of the lap. And Perez currently P1 in the other racing point. We cross the line and we remain in last place. 1.2 seconds off our own teammate. And that was not a good lap by any means. We then went back out. And to be fair, this was a near perfect lap. And uh, we found three tenths straight away in the first sector alone. Hamilton now currently P1 as we drop down to P20. And everybody has set a lap. So we need to improve here. Through sector two, we're now eight tenths up. And we found a chunk of time on this lap as we now go through sector three. This is our strongest sector and where we're always fastest because we have a very low drag setup. And we went up to the line and we improve up to ninth place. Half a second off the pace of Hamilton and a purple sector three. And that is a much more of a respectable lap time. But we're now going to ride on board for what is my best lap of this qualifying session here today at Baku as we're currently P10. Enjoy the lap guys and I'll get back once it's over. And here we go then, last part, running up to the line. And we do improve by two tenths of a second. We go three tenths off Hamilton's time and we move up to seventh place. And to be fair, that was a pretty much perfect lap. There was one mistake I made, which was out of the castle section um, through the left hander over the top of the hill. Uh, we just got very loose on the exit. And had we not done that, we probably could have actually got maybe P5. But as you can see on screen, in terms of the grid, it's a Ferrari front row lockout with Kafiat beating Hamilton. And Kafiat had the benefit of a slipstream. I saw that on his lap. Uh, Verstappen third, Carlos Sainz in P4. Then we have Perez P5 with Leclerc alongside him. And then we've got Bottas right behind those guys. And you can see the gaps, how close they were. And I think had I not made that mistake, I could have definitely got P5 ahead of Perez. But that one bit of oversteer cost us about three places. And that's how close the grid is around here. We then got George Russell ahead of Kimi Raikkonen running up the 
top 10. And the Alpha's looking a lot quicker this weekend as Hulkenberg confirming that pace with the P11. Norris once again high up in P12. Good job for him in the Williams ahead of Kevin Magnussen and Alexander Albon who are 13th and 14th. Then on row number 8, it's both Mercedes, Sebastian Vettel at qualifying. Pierre Gasly there, his teammate. And we then move on to the final four places on the grid. And I believe we have Antonio Giovinazzi P11 with the Lance Stroll 18th. And then we've got both of the Toro Rosso is bringing up the rear with Ricardo once again at qualifying Roman Grosjean there for 19th place. But that is your grid here today for the Baku Grand Prix. And we're now going to move into your main event for the Sunday race. Here we are then for the start of the Azerbaijan Grand Prix, starting from 8th place, of course, on the grid after qualifying. We are going to have to start on the soft tyres that we qualified on, and the strategy-wise, we are going to go on to mediums later. Um, the one-stop is very marginal. I may have to go on to the hard tyres. Uh, we'll kind of see how it goes and judge it on a lap-by-lap -lap basis, preferably... I'd like to one-stop here today if possible, but we'll see how it goes. Um, the game recommends a two-stop, which is not what I'm going to do. I'd rather run the hard tyres if necessary um, because the pit stop is very slow and you can gain a lot of time around here by staying out. So, uh, yeah, fuel-wise, we're going to run one extra lap and there is no rain expected here today. So it's a very straightforward race and we're pretty good on sector three on the straights. So I think we should be competitive here today in terms of race, hopefully. So uh, let's see how we get on. First of all, let's try and get a good start and get ourselves into the top five top six possibly and then kind of take it from there either way it's time for racing here at baku so let's jump right into it right here we go let's build up the revs to the five red lights lights out and away we go not a bad start actually into turn one we're not really being challenged here so we should be able to take the race in line which we do we've got hulkenberg looking for a move behind us two wide in front between leclerc and bottas Tidy exit from us there. We're going to get nice and close. You can see they're pulling away a little bit in the first part of the straight. But we'll stick with them. Easy through here. Let, let them kind of duke it out. We can maybe pick up some scraps. Get a benefit maybe. Into turn number four. Bottas and Leclerc sideways. But it looks like Leclerc is going to get the benefit. And take the position as we try to look for a move. But there's no way through. So we'll hang back for a little bit. Looks like there's a bit of a breakaway already with uh, both Ferraris and Max Verstappen out front. For oh, almost went to the back of Bottas there. I was going to say Perez is leading this train of cars at the moment as we go through the castle for the first time. Let's try and stick with him. Uh, maybe try and we'll pick him up later on, make, make a move on these guys possibly. Macken still feels very loose in this car, but uh, right, head down. We don't want to drop out our slipstream or DRS. That could be critical in this race, so we need to try and stick with these guys. Sainz and Leclerc battling here in front of us. Looks like Bottas may be looking to capitalise and benefit from that. This is allowing Perez to pull away, which is good news for us as a team. As we tuck in behind Bottas here. He goes defensive into turn four. I'm going to try and get the switch back on him. Which we do achieve. We're running a little bit hot there on the exit. We're going to try and go around the outside of the chicane here on Bottas. Oh, it doesn't quite work out. He closes the door on us. So we can't go through. Hulkenberg now looking for an overtake around the outside of... The hairpin here, which is not a likely overtaking spot, so we'll keep him behind for now. I love how every car is faster than me in acceleration. Even the Alfa Romeo's, which are a terrible car, as we clip the inside wall. They're luckily for us, no wing damage. But this has made Bottas quite vulnerable here, as he's lost the slipstream, so we may be able to get past on the pit straight, possibly. Right, here we go. We're gaining on Bottas now. We may have a chance. Just using the slipstream to try and line up the McLaren for a move. We'll go to the inside. On the brakes, nice and tidy. Easy does it. And there we go, job done. Up to P7. A signs in front, it gets overtaken by Leclerc. DRS is now enabled, so the target this lap is to get ourselves onto the back of the guys in front. Problem is, my rear tyres are almost double the way already, so it's not looking good in that regard. Tire wear is very high around here. The two in front keep battling, so let's try and close down on them if we can, but I'm afraid we're going to have to essentially two stop these rears are not lasting which is uh, a rare thing because the racing point is normally very good in his tyres but rear tyre wear around here is absolutely ridiculous regardless of whatever setup you may run you're going to lose your rears around here but this is uh, pretty bad even for me rear tyres are really going I can't lie I'm not liking it doesn't feel with confidence they're uh, double the wear of the fronts already after four laps and around 30% it's not looking good it's really not looking good hopefully we can get the arrest on these guys this lap and hopefully get past, get some clean air and try and use the tyres. But I'm losing the rear end now pretty much at every corner, which is a bad sign because it's only going to get worse. 
Not sure what happened to Bottas at the end of that lap, but he's completely dropped off. Just trying to save a bit of fuel, get a bit of fuel back on target, but uh, I can't quite close up on these two here. I'm more focused on trying to save my rear tyres now, because if I want to make a one-stopper, we need to make the tyres last a bit longer. We are not boxing this lap, we're going to stay out. We need to go long to get back into this race, and like I said, a one-stopper is the only way to stay in this race. Better lap from us, actually. We've managed to control the rear tyre wear a little bit, and uh, set a personal best in the process as signs get past the clerk. Let's try and stay out as long as we can here. I want to try and go into that hard tyre. I feel like the AI are going to go for a one stop straight into the medium. So uh, we can't quite do that, I don't think. That's going to be a long way to go for me. So we'll see. Maybe we could make it work. If we can get to like lap nine, it could happen. I can't close up this last part of the gap. No, mate, we're not pitting. Leave it a rest. Like, give it a rest. But uh, we can't close this last part of the gap. They keep on DRSing each other, so they keep on pulling away from me on the straight, which is where my strong point is. I'm good on the straight, but this is just costing me time. They do pit, though, along with Perez. Is in for his stop. So we are going to take the lead. Looks like most cars are going for the hard tyre. So uh, we're going to try and stay out. We're going to stick it out this lap and one more. Get onto the medium tyre, and that would give us an advantage, hopefully, in the, in the second stint. Oh my god, the rear tyre is just a twice the weight, and it feels horrible, it really does. Let's push it a little bit, though, try and find a bit more pace if we can. Right, Hamilton pits onto the hard tyre as well. We're going to pit this lap now for the mediums. Bottas started to catch me up at the end of that lap as well. He has great pace. Fiat's already almost a pit stop ahead of us, as so he's up in the P2 once again. Right, let's pit this lap. Right, here we go. We're going to pit this lap. In lap's been okay. Uh, we have run out of tyres now, and you can notice it. We need to push this pit entry as much as we can. Has to be perfect. There we go. I'll take that. That's pretty good. A bunch of cars are going to drive by now. There's traffic, so those who pit earlier might, you know, still be in trouble. Medium tyres, please. Release, release. There's Perez in front of us, and here is the next pack of cars. That includes signs, so we are still ahead of Bottas. Okay, stay clear of the white line on the exit. We'll receive a penalty for dangerous driving if you cross over into the track. So that's good news. We went longer. We've got fresher and better tyres, and we didn't get undercut by Bottas. And the signs is still just in front of us. So that's been a, a good start from us and a good outcome to go long. We didn't lose time, which is great. Now let's try and use these tyres to make some progress. Bit of debris on the right-hand side. Someone's had an incident. There's a lot of cars in front, a lot of trains, so uh, we've all gained a lot. Hopefully in the next couple of laps. Right, we're tucked in behind Carlos here. I think uh, Moldu can't overtake. Could be a possibility. Just got to try and stay nice and close. Bottas is catching behind, so we need to try and get these moves done. And uh, get ahead of these McLarens. Here we go. Let's stretch our legs a little bit. Use our straight line speed. Wait for the DRS. Now, here we go. Sign struggling to get the move done. He is weaving all over the place. We're going to go to the outside, though. Around the outside we go, it's a light one on the brakes, we just about stop the car. And there we go, nice double overtake around the outside. Up next is Stroll, who's battling with Charles Leclerc. Looks like Leclerc has got that move done now, so we'll have to hand back and try and look for a move on Stroll elsewhere. Well, to be fair, they lose a bit of time through here. We could put Stroll in trouble in the Williams. Power down. Down the inside of the Williams. We get the move done. Bit of contact. Straw goes for a spin, but had to be done. Bottas did that to me earlier on. So uh, just it is what it is. You have to know when to back out. I backed out from the one with Bottas. Straw didn't back out, but uh, moved on. Being aggressive here. Trying to use his tyres. Now Leclerc stuck behind another Williams. This time I'm guessing it's Lando Norris, if I had to guess. Not quite sure. Oh my god, Leclerc almost hit the wall and lost his wing. Someone has lost their wing in front though, bit of debris. As we go to the outside, we get a run on the close, a bit slow. This Williams has no wing, it's Norris. We're going to go around the outside. Just about squeezed through there, he left me just about enough room. Norris is hanging in there though, without his front wing. But we're going to get the move done. Risky and uh, getting the marbles, but we do move up to P10 and we get past the traffic, which is great. I've got to try and save that little bit of fuel I have in the reserve. 
As uh, Leclerc will make the move now on Norris. I'm going to try and pull over to give him the Norris a bit more of a tow. But there we go, into the points. We've got more cars battling in front here, so let's try and make a move. But we have now got past Sainz and Leclerc on track for a net position, so that's great news. We're catching up to Perez now. Perez is in front of these two cars. I wonder if he's got wing damage and is struggling. That might explain a lack of pace from him. Look at that, look at the acceleration. When we don't run full power, we lose so much. I mean, we lose a lot even in full power, but when we don't run full power, I think Perez has got wing damage through there. Contact between him and the Mercedes. Looks like our teammate could be in trouble, which is not good. But the good news is we're going to hopefully save the day. Into the chicane. I'm just going to back off a little bit here because Perez is struggling, it seems like. So I don't want to get caught up in any checkups on the brakes. Now we can make a move here. Perez forcing his way through. We're going to make this 4 what if we need to. Here we go. With DRS, we're going to blast past and use the straight line speed. And we're going to make a triple overtake. Move up to P7. Make that P6. And eventually P4 drew the cars in the pit lane. Perez, though, gets the switch back on us. He is missing a right front end play. You can see that as he got past us there. DRS for us. We're going to try and get past it. Giovinazzi is going to follow. Stretch our legs a little bit. To the outside we go. Perez, of course, struggling with damage. But we're going to go around the outside. Perez has clicked the wall. I think he clicked the inside wall. Very typical, that's something that AI always do, but we're now up to fourth place in this race, and this is a net P4, so I think this is the best we can do here today on these tyres. We've done what we can do, we've used the traffic to get by and uh, used the grip on these to make some quick moves. Now we've got, just got to try and pull away and open up a gap, because those in the hard tyres will get a chance later on to get back past, because our tyres will fade. So, good start to the stint, now let's try and end strong if we can, as we survive the castle section. One more lap. Oh, Perez pits again. Obviously, the wing damage is uh, too much and he has to get it fixed. So, looks like we may not be scoring points in both cars here today. Leclerc's now P5, so we've got to try and keep that gap that we've got at the minute, which is a very healthy gap. Right, some information on Hamilton. They have an issue with their car. They're going to be slow. Okay, so that could be a lifeline. Hamilton with issues. I believe he's P2, so he's not even the lead Ferrari. So that could be something for us. I do believe he's a bit too far away for us to capitalise. He'd have to have issues for a long time for us to benefit. But there could be a potential podium up for grabs here. Our first one since Australia. Virtual safety car, virtual safety car. Reduce speed immediately and keep a positive delta. Drop your speed. Our delta is too low and we risk a penalty. Slow your pace immediately. Not sure for who that is or what the hell has happened. No one's retired from what I can tell, so... We'll get a confirmation in a minute. Maybe someone just spun. Possibly. That's the only possible answer. And there we go. Antonio Giovinazzi out. There's a confirmation. That's the reason why. There we go, perfect restart. Okay, clear. Green flag, back to racing speed. Let's get back to it and let's try and catch Hamilton. That would have bought him those some precious seconds. They'll try and repair his Ferrari. Oh, Valtteri Bottas out as well. Both McLarens out, just like that. Maybe they've had some kind of incident they've come together. But um, that's weird, I have to try and check that on a replay. But both McLarens out, just like that. On for a personal best here, gap now down to six seconds. Pace has been good this lap, actually. I don't know where it's come from, but the car's working much better since the VSC restart. Leclerc is trying to catch, but he's not really making much progress. We're kind of equal for pace, which is good, so the eight-second gap is really helping us out. As we cross the line, we are going to set a new personal best. There we go. Gap now down to 5.6 to Lewis Hamilton. Second lap in a row, we've matched our personal best. Good pace. Gap now 2.8, we should be on the back of him. At the end of the lap, as we accidentally downshift twice, that's going to cost us a little bit of time. All right, here we go then. Gap is 1.1, we should have DRS on the Ferrari. Our straight line speed is pretty good once we get up to speed. It seems they fixed whatever the problem was. They're coming back up to speed. Oh, damn it. Typical. Just as I catch up, I think his car is back to normal, so I don't think we're going to get a chance to pass Lewis here. I think he's back up to full pace, which is a shame. 
so close to a podium yet so far. Lewis is now going to drive off again into the distance now. <laughs> oh well. There goes our small chance of a podium in this race. Still pushing here, trying to keep up with Lewis, but he's just got a little bit too much pace as we do set a new personal best, but it's not going to be enough. Still 1.7 is the gap as we go into the final three laps. We've backed off now. Leclerc is a second a lap quicker than us in the Haas. Tire wear wise, we're looking pretty good. So we're going to be on target to get this P4 as we enter the final lap of the Grand Prix now. So let's bring this one home. There we go. Kvyat wins for Ferrari here at Baku. It's going to be Verstappen, P3 in the Red Bull, con continuing his kind of good form lately. And Red Bull's semi-resurgence to form. Hamilton in third and uh, in the end still a podium considering the issues he had with his car. And we're going to come through for a phenomenal fourth place. Didn't have the pace on the day, but we played it beautifully on the strategy, made our way through the traffic, and that is a great result. And that's three fourth places in a row as we enter the European season. But I'll take that. That is yet another good result. All right, race over. Take care of the car on the way in. Well, what a drive that was to take the win for Ferrari today. Anthony Davidson, how do you think they were able to set themselves apart today? Well, this was a real team victory. They put together a solid strategy today that appeared well suited to the conditions out on track. The driver did everything that was expected of them in the moment to really execute the team's plan to perfection. A shining example of how F1 really is a team sport. Here come our winners now. A thrilling race and a tremendous effort by Ferrari. Their history is well known, so it's no surprise to fans the world over to see them come out on top once again. Right, so there we have the final results then, guys, and Danny Kvyat picks up yet another race win this season and he picks up a full 25 points. Max Verstappen P2 for the Red Bull team. Hamilton in third making it a 1-3 for the Prancing Horses. We come home in fourth ahead of Charles Leclerc and Sebastian and Vettel. Great race from Sebastian in the Mercedes up in P6 ahead of Hulkenberg and Raikkonen and both Alfa Romero scoring points. Again great race from them. Pierre Gasly also on the points for Mercedes so those four guys putting in a massive shift and Perez in the end on the two-stop strategy finishes down in 10th place and scores a point. So not all doom and gloom and both Pink Panthers in the points. Missing out on those points though we have Norris, Magnussen, Stroll, Grosjean, Russell, Ricardo, Albon, Bottas and then we have uh, Sainz and Giovinazzi and I still need to find out what the hell happened to both of those McLarens in that double DNF. But in terms of the standings after that race we hold on to our third place. Hamilton does pull away a little bit but Sebastian Vettel back up to fourth place. Equal in points with Max Verstappen who of course is on a bit of a resurgence at the moment and Perez drops down to P6. We then move into the constructor standings and we are still in the second place and we have a nice healthy 39 point gap to Mercedes in third we'll to take McLaren by one point and Ferrari still dominating far and away out front but guys that is going to be it from this episode and this race here in career mode and the next one will be Spain and the start of the European season hopefully we'll have some upgrades on the car for that race but if you guys enjoyed this video and this episode of career mode drop a like on the, on the video and let's subscribe if you are new for daily Formula 1 MotoGP and all that kind of crazy stuff on the channel and click the bell icon to be notified when I do post these videos daily on the channel and finally check out the two videos on your screen if you have missed them but that is it from me here today from the land of fire and I'll see you all next time in Spain